thank you to um, Edwin for yeah. bringing the best out of people. It's like almost by accident just calls and you like you want to be you know an exhibition. It's like sure. And then she says she says like you want to read some of your work. I'm like sure. So, um, well, to make this story short, um, 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 one, of my, one of my biggest inspirations is, is traveling around the city. And I did a lot when I just went to see, which is the United States. So I moved in 1999, so first three years, I literally would spend nights in the street and being inspired by things. Um, and um, and I studied I studied this uh, write up I, I guess right now for write up um, with people I meet people, a person I, I get very inspired by people and then I get inspired by people then the streets of New York gives me gives me things um, give, give me things that that I kind of connect with people that certain things tell me certain story about certain person I meet. So that's how that's how my fairy tales begin. Begin I begin writing those fairy tales. So um, um, so my the things in my fairy tales are actually human beings. So when you hear think think about a person that could have similar characteristics. So um, and uh, I started this collection collection of fair tales and named daydreams. Um, and uh, and they are part of of, 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 uh, of the work I'm working on which is called Walking the Yellow Line. So today I, I want to um, I want to read for you um, a fair tale which is called uh, Rain So, when a morning comes and the fog kisses the earth with its soft leaf wet and rays, a girl comes to the river bank and stands there full of cold sadness. She holds a piece of ice in her hands. Nobody knows why she's come. No tear comes from her eyes, and no sound evaporates from her lips. The time she's come, the grass around her steps has become a ghostly white. The white of the dress of an unmarried girl waits for her lover she knows will never come. The river stops them and tells a story, the story of an innocent girl who fell in love and loved the man she was not supposed to. Way up in the mountains, she was born to her mother Cloud. Nobody knew who her father was, since the Cloud was hiding from somebody nobody dared to ask. One day, our little girl wandered down the glade. She heard somebody play a drum. The drum had written in sadness, and bubbly joy mixed together in its song. She wanted to see who was playing it. Across the glade and wandered to the forest. There in the forest was the river flowing. The girl was to the girl saw two brothers sitting on the bank. They were playing a drum. While the river sang to them as if she was their mother. The girl sat under a willow tree and listened. The hours flew by and she fell asleep. When she woke up, there was a man standing next to her, and looking with his deep blue eyes into her face. What's your name, and what are you doing here at such a late hour? The man asked her. My name is Rain. I wandered down the mountains. The, sun, the song somebody drum on the drum reminded me of a dream I saw a long time ago. I didn't see anybody play a drum around here. You must be dreaming 
that too, while you while you were asleep. Here, come with me, the man said and extended his hand. The girl took the man's hand and followed where she where he was taking her. She couldn't understand if she was still dreaming, since once in her dreams she saw the man too, but never understood. The night, the, the night sent its dark fingers into the stairs, stared the sky, and ripped the moon out of it. The mother cloud heard a cry. She stepped into, into the great into rain's room and found a flower. She looked around the house and found nothing but silence. She flew into the stair sky and asked the moon if she had seen. I saw a girl, she followed the thunder. The moon shone on the cloud's face. Oh no, the cloud trembled down to earth. No woman or a girl can escape thunder sea blue eyes. Before rain was born, the cloud gave birth to, to the twins, ripple and bubble. Even though they were born the same day, they were different, as different as night and day. They couldn't live without each other. Ripple was a sensitive boy, while Bubble was loud and full of laughter. Their mother cloud gave them a drum, just before she left her husband's family. The drum they only drum together. Every day they sat on the bank of the river and listened to her stories about the girl named Ray, who grew up up in the mountains and was beautiful as beautiful is the mountains. They both drummed the drum after another river story about the rain and their mother. They never knew it existed. They both knew that they were they were in love with a girl named Rain. Ripple imagined with the butterfly kisses he would send to Rain's eyes. Bubble knew that as soon as he'd meet her, he'd take Rain for a loud dance. They would dance till newly crushed grapes. Both the drumming the dream away till their father thundered high above the skies. He ordered them to return back home. Then a morning came, the one which divides summer and cool fall, just before the chill starts throwing down summer stress and gives the gloomy look. Rain was a break. Rain was a break. One sees a girl with a nice silhouette sitting on the bank of the river and looking down into the waterfall, where Ripple and Bubble play their sad story of love with a girl who fell in love with their father. Before they jumped down the waterfall, competing for the girl's love, Cloud told the girl that the boys really were her brother, brothers, and her father was coming. The news came fast. About the brothers and their faithful death. It throws the rain into the cold sea. With a freezing heart, with a freezing heart of chill. Every time the thunder slashed the cloud on a late fall's evening, the rain fell down to her with its numb heart. She hoped somebody would help her escape the love she was not supposed to have for her father and her son. There always were her brothers waiting. Just before she would hit the ground, they would embrace her completely, without forgetting even one of her tears, and would, and would set her down, bursting into ripples, making the hairy rain part melt into a puddle. Yeah, that's right. We're speaking like 12 languages here right now. Yeah.